10 Things You Didn't Know About Paul Goldschmidt The most underrated but obviously the best player, also widely known as Goldie, Cardinals first baseman Paul Goldschmidt has been quietly making his name for himself in the MLB. And after hitting his 300th career home run, Paul Goldschmidt is getting closer to the Hall of Fame. Looking at his career, you would understand deeply why he is a deserving candidate and how he has inspired many. But why has he suddenly become a well-known superstar from an underrated player? Before we get into the 10 things that you didn't know about Paul Goldschmidt, as always, welcome back to Base Flicks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to score a home run. Fact number one, there's so much you don't know about Paul Goldschmidt. Starting with the fact that Paul Goldschmidt is amongst the oldest players to win MVP after Barry Bonds, age 40, and Willie Stargell, age 39, in the years 1979 and 2004 NL MVP, respectively. And in November 2022, Paul Goldschmidt, at the age of 35, by winning the MVP Most Valuable Player in the National League for the 2022 season, he is now all in praise and worthy. Paul achieved his 1,549th professional strike in November 2022. It sounds good, right? But there's more. Paul effectively became the greatest hitter from his state after that shot, making him the all-time hits leader for athletes born in Delaware. But it wasn't all easy for Goldie to get his MVP. Between 2013 to 2017, Goldschmidt finished top three in NL MVP voting on three different occasions, and two of these were second place finishes. In 2013, even though he had less than two years of experience, he ended up leading the National League in a multitude of categories. Unfortunately, he wasn't the league's overall best player. Though he waited for the next nine years, it was all worth it after, in 2022, he finally won his well-deserved MVP for the National League. Fact number two, rerouting to his background a little bit, he is from Wilmington, Delaware, and his Jewish Catholic roots say he had three grandparents who escaped from Hitler's Holocaust in Nazi Germany. In 2006, he was the team's third baseman when he won the state championship playing for Woodlands High School in Texas. He admired Jeff Bagwell and Lance Berkman among many basemen to look up to, though originally he was a fan of the Houston Astros. Fact number three, to continue the journey of baseball, he enrolled at Texas State University. With 36 home runs and 179 RBIs career records, he was named Southland Conference Hitter of the Year twice in a row when he was playing for the Texas State Bobcats baseball team in college. There he met his now wife, Amy Glazier, during his freshman year. She had a successful high school volleyball career and has a bachelor's degree in business marketing. Eventually, after three years of dating, they exchanged their Christian vows. Also, did you know Goldschmidt's wife also served as a member of the Student Athlete Advisory while playing for the golf team, but she never knew Paul played for the baseball team. Fact number four, it might seem a little boring, but it's not as dramatic or mystical as any other sports person's jersey number. Paul Goldschmidt got the number 44 in his first big league debut, where he got locker number 44. He says, I am not too picky, I was just happy to have the number. Fact number five, not many would probably know, but Paul Goldschmidt is an avid reader. His favorite author of all time is Mike Patterson, and some of his favorite books he recommends are The Christian Left, The Business Book, and Leadership. The book Freedom Flight by Lanny Bassam was recommended by his trainer, and he says this book was one of the first books that helped him strengthen his mental power. He also loves to read books by Ryan Holiday. If you like this kind of informative video, don't forget to catch that ball and throw it to the subscribe button to win this game. Fact number six, Goldschmidt by his 12th season is the 72nd baseman to hit his 300th home run. But this ranking is not so impressive, so why is the name been coming up for quite a long time for the Hall of Fame? Because of his career in terms of ops, he ranks 39th with .917 ops. With 300 home runs by the 12th season, there are only 11 players, including Goldschmidt, who has no Hall of Fame. And using this parameter, 28 HOF divided by 39 equals gives around 70% chance for Goldschmidt to win that Hall of Fame. 
Upon asking him if the Hall of Fame recognition drives him, he says no. I mean, if that happens, that would be the longest thing on my mind. Those guys that have done it are amazing, and I am not even in that same breath. It's just kind of, hey, I want to play well, and I want to help us win, and if I do that with the best of my ability, then there's a good chance I would make the All-Star team, or win the Silver Slugger, or whatever it may be. But that was never the focus, that was kind of just the result. Fact number seven. Also, a career that would show his consistency and dedication is that Goldie is one of the 22 players with ops above 1,000 in any season in MLB annals for players age 34. But when we look at ops plus, he is ranked sixth. Between 1990 and 2013, on only 12 different occasions, a center fielder ended with an ops plus of at least 155. Compare that to the 52 instances of the first baseman having done it. Speaking of positions, McCutcheon and Goldschmidt were similar defensively, but only Goldschmidt was awarded a gold glove. Fact number eight, though from his interviews and interaction he seems the humblest person with records such as seven times All-Star, four times Gold Glove, and four times Silver Slugger Awards winner, Goldie doesn't seem to be the type of player that takes the successes to his head. All the time he reminds there are greater things to achieve, and to be a good player he needs to be grounded. Fact number nine. It might seem contradictory and shocking to know, but Paul says if he wasn't a baseball player, he probably would have been a personal financier, investing in people's businesses. His close one would know he is a lover of maths and finances. As of September 2022, Goldschmidt's net worth is estimated to be $20 million, and from playing baseball his career, it is said that he has made over $84.1 million. His current house of 10,000 square feet in Jupiter, Florida, Florida is worth $5.5 million. Fact number 10, his love for his second favorite sport, golf, is very evident considering he has had many endorsements in the past. Not so surprisingly, he started playing golf to share the same hobby as his wife had started playing golf after she quit volleyball after high school. Goldschmidt made a partnership with Chef's Cut Real Jerky in 2016. This was the first time he had taken the company's equity, which he believed would add even more meaning to this long-term collaboration. Bonus fact, Goldie is not only known for his successful career, but also for the kindness he spreads through his charity and fundraisers. He and his wife Amy raised funds for the Phoenix Children's Hospital, and approximately $186,000 was raised to contribute to the aid for cancer and other blood-related medical problems. Because of this, Paul is the Cardinals candidate for the Roberto Clemente Award this year, which honors exceptional contributions to the community. Goldie was not always a believer in God, and he didn't believe in the existence of God. But later, spending his time with Diamondbacks manager Turner Ward in 2011, he was introduced to the Christian faith while they spent time reading and discussing the Bible's word. Goldie says he found so much truth and wise saying in the book that it was a convincing statement of the word of God to be true. He has dedicated his successes and many successful games to Christ. And due to this, he has been described as humble by many. But all these successes and trophies the end of Paul Goldschmidt? Well, no. His hunger for success and to never stop growing, which he has learned from his great coaches around him, would not let him finish it off easily. He still has quite a bit of career to go, and of course not until he gets the Hall of Fame which he deserves considering the career path. He has always been content to keep his head low and keep his bat talking. We, as the spectators, should only look out to the big question, what awaits next for Goldie, who's also known as Paul Goldschmidt?